is that down there? Oh, that's cool. How did I miss that? Oh, I don't know. Maybe because it's on the bottom shelf, Jocelyn. Let's see. <laughs> okay, well, today we are in Hanover, Pennsylvania, and we are at the Goodwill. Uh, this particular Goodwill has been very hit or miss in the past, so I'm not sure what to expect today. I'm hoping we get a score. Maybe it, maybe it will be a hit today. I don't know. Um, we're gonna head in and see what we can find to buy and look for a profit. Here we go. Well, you will be pleased to know that the Goodwill smells nice and fresh today. <laughs> no diaper genies. I don't know why, but when I come to this Goodwill, I usually start in the clear section. Maybe because I've had decent luck here in the past. $2.99 on this satin glass fairy light. Oh. I'll put it in there and then I'll make up my mind. It's a pretty platter, hand painted, probably. Dorataki in wood. Four ninety nine. That would be a pain to shift though. I have to consider. <laughs> I have to consider the complaints I would get. I don't know if they're worth it. Oh, I like that owl mug. I like that mug. I like all of the things. Those are pretty plates. Who makes those? Blah, blah, blah. Something. I can't even read that and I don't know why I'm struggling so much. I don't know. I'll grab them. This looks pretty. Kind of has like the texture of... um. Fire and light. It's got a nice texture to it. But I don't think it is fire and light. I don't know. I'm like, I'm determined nowadays. <laughs> if it looks like fire and light, I'm buying it. I don't care what any of you say. I don't think it is, though. I don't, I really don't think it is. I'm gonna say it's not. I'm gonna put it back. You guys better not tell me in the comments. Oh, that was a fire and light. You should have bought it. Inez. Let's see if we can find any more of those mugs. I like that pottery mug. It's a kind of atomic looking Stetson. I'll buy it's lonesome though. Or missing its lid. I don't think I'm going to find the lid, so I'm not going to mess with it. So they have a lot of this on the shelves. It's just that um Jeanette. Oh, here's some cups that go with the set I stuck in. Hi, Jess. Hi there. Oh, no, you're fine. Hi. That was so adorable. <laughs> I think, like, the entire Goodwill staff just came out to meet me. It was so cute. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, gosh. I'm not sure what pattern that is. I don't know. I am attracted to depression class, but then I'm like... Is it reproduction? Is it the real deal? And it freaks me out because I can't tell the difference. It's kind of pretty and hand painted. I think the sticker is covering up the maker though. I don't know, it's just kind of painted differently. It's kind of a weird... Are they flowers? Are they bells? I'm not sure. Oh wait, what is that? Squirrel. Oh, is that old? I can't tell. It might be contemporary. Here's a cute little puppy dog. $3.99 on that. Let's take a peek in the cart there. Oh, what do we have? Is this a smiley face? I think that's the Teleflora smiley face. I think I'm gonna leave that one behind. Alright, so this is kind of cheating because I just saw her take this out of the cart. It is a rose medallion, but it is made in China. Also, I think that's probably glued in there. So, I'm not gonna mess with that. Oh, okay. <laughs> it scared me. They were good though. Let's stick that back here. Alright, I skipped ahead a few rows just to go check out that rose medallion, which was unfortunately a little anticlimactic, but. Wow, look at that thing. That's 
crazy looking. Can you imagine if I had that on my front, <laughs> my front door? It's crazy to me that they still have the Christmas out. I mean, I like it. But like in Maryland, it was like three days after Christmas and it was all cleared out. There wasn't any Christmas. So it's nuts that here we are in Pennsylvania and the Christmas is still out. I like it. I think it's cool because Christmas sells all year round. Isn't that what you guys always tell me? Jocelyn, Christmas sells all year round. I don't know what he goes to. Some art pottery, KH on it. I think what's attracting me to it is the contrast of that yellow and blue. But I don't think I'm that committed to it, so I'm gonna leave it there. Blessed Mama. Goblet. $1.99 on that. I noticed that there was some glass on the shelf, but I'm realizing now that somebody actually painted that. So it's not as exciting as I thought it was gonna be. What is this over here? Inspiration. Oh, I think that's like a liquor bottle or something. I don't know. It's not very inspirational to me. Cake pop and cupcake stand. We have here Sovereign House. Something, something, $2.99. Because I'm marking their coaching days. I think that's a silver overlay. Possibly. I don't know what the markings is. Exclusive something, something. I don't know. I think I'm gonna leave it. It's kind of so weird that it's kind of cool, and I was actually considering it. But then I realized that all of these like little dimples inside the glass are are chips. Like somebody purposely chipped it, but it it kind of like works for it, except for when you put your finger against it because then you almost cut yourself. So I'm like, does it work? Yeah, but also. I don't want to sell it to someone and then have them like bleed out because they've cut themselves on the side of the frame. It's just not something I want to be responsible for. So it's really cool, but I don't know if I can do it. So here in the orange aisle, checking to see if there's another one of these. We've got this, uh, I think it's Fire King, right? Fire King Peach Bowl, Peach Luster? I don't know. I don't, I don't know if I sold this in a really long time. I think it's a peach luster. I kind of like it. I only see one. I don't see another one. So it might be all by its lonesome. I'm going to set it down for a second. Hopefully nobody comes back and grabs it. That's neat. That's an oil light. Anyway, um, how much is it? $3.99. Looks to be in decent condition. I think I'll grab it for now. This is a pretty little vase for Valentine's Day. Kind of a pale pink, $1.99. Hmm. Just a bud vase, hand blown. Stick that in there. We're getting farther down in this cart. Still don't see anything overly exciting, but this weirdo is kind of cool. Bed Bath and Beyond. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I was a little excited, but maybe not. That's vintage. Right. Um, I think I'm gonna push my cart aside, and I'm gonna try looking up this set I have here while they're restocking, and then we'll continue looking at the shelves. So I have some comps here. Um, it looks like the plates sell for about $10 a piece. So the dinner plates are a dollar a piece. Um, these salad plates, there's three for $2. One of them is chips, so I'm not counting that one. So they're also a dollar a piece. Um, dinner plates sell for 10 a piece. I would assume these would sell for about eight a piece. It's not a huge profit, but it's, I think it'll it'll work out because of the quantity. So I'm gonna buy them. Um, these guys, we'll throw them in there too. I would love to find some saucers. I haven't really looked. <laughs> I kind of just happened upon these. So I'm gonna keep my eyes peeled for any more from the set. Now that I know that they're worth it. Um, oh wait, no, I have. What am I talking about? I have saucers. Hello, saucers, right here. <laughs> I got a whole bunch of saucers. 
good on sauce. I think I got the whole set. We're here. We're good. This is kind of crazy because I spotted this from across the row. And I'm like, well, that has to be something good, right? It's advertising. Premium Nabisco. Yada, yada. It's 10 bucks. I just looked it up. It sells for like $12. That's crazy, right? Last one sold for 12 bucks. Kind of surprised by that. Do not microwave. Mm. Yeah, I wouldn't microwave. <laughs> Look at the metal. Bad idea. Don't try it. Um, that's crazy to me. I might try again. Let me just confirm this. Yep, that's it. I actually um, made my search terms even more vague too. I put in Nabisco crackers. Um, I didn't even put in terrain as a keyword to try to see if maybe it was just, you know, whatever. Uh, but 1976 terrain, that's it. So for $12.75. That one had it under plate. That's nuts. I'm really surprised by that. I would have thought it was worth more. That's why I came over here. I'm like, ooh, look at that. <laughs> and if it was worth more, I would pay 10 bucks for it. But if not, unfortunately. Here's a fun coffee mug. I think it's marked Orvis on the bottom. $1.99. Surprise, there's a frog inside. <laughs> I thought that was fun. I just stick it in the bowl. So we don't want it to fall out. Okay, so I've wandered over here into the holiday section. I was kind of hoping to find some Valentine's Day stuff, but it looks to be mostly Christmas. Um, there is a red section behind me that I'll probably check out, but there are a few people over there right now, so I'm just browsing through here. Mm, not much. Mostly just Christmas. What's that? Kitchen traditions. Raff set. So here we are in the red. Let's see if we can find anything here. There are actually quite a few of these in the blue section. Oh, they're Kohl's. $9.99. Distributed by Pacific Trade International. Mm. They were thick and I was a little bit like, oh, glassy baby, but no. <laughs> Not even close. All right. This was on the end cap here, but I noticed that there is a boo-boo on the spout, so that kind of sucks. What is that down there? Oh, that's cool. How did I miss that? Oh, I don't know. Maybe because it's on the bottom shelf, Jocelyn. Let's see. <laughs> that's cool. This is that, um, scissor skipper cap cap Vintage. I like it. I'm taking it with me. Just wish I could remember the name of it. There's a word for this where they cut it away. But um, I think it's a German. And I'm not very good with my uh, German words. $2.99. Oh, it's an oil light. I'm like, well, yeah, like, what is this thing? Jump rope? drum thing. I feel like there's something inside of it. It's probably why somebody tried to tear it up, but I thought this was neat. It's made in China. How much is it? $1.99. Is that cool? It's a neat decorative piece. I remember when we lived in Kansas City, my mom had a nautical themed bathroom for me, my brother and sister be something that you could put on like a nautical themed bathroom. Alright. I feel like it's worth more than a buck ninety-nine. There's a jar for blessings. And your name needn't be Dave to put your blessings in there. One of those things. Gosh, I know these are worth money, but I just don't even know where to start with that. That would be a booth piece, but I don't really want to mess with it, honestly. Buttercup Federalist Ironstone. That is kind of the color of buttercups. Alright. 
starting to get bored. <laughs> I doubt how much longer I'm going to last. I thought that was movie vintage. You know what it reminds me of now that I'm up close is um, the feather duster my mom used to use to get the cobwebs out of the corner of the house. I'm gonna grab one of these milk crates to put my stuff in. Do they, do they still call these milk crates? I mean, I don't even know. I remember back when I was in school, it's like, you need a crate to put your stuff on the first day of school. I don't even think my kids use these anymore. <laughs> Let's stick it right there. I did not bring any bags, so it's the best I can do. I make some tough calls here. <laughs> I've rearranged my cart. Um, the fairy light. I was actually looking at it. This sells for about 20 bucks, but I've got a chip there. And I'm like, you know, do I want it? I think because it has a chip, I'm going to leave it. If it was more ornate, I'd probably grab it even with the chip. But because it's just satin, glass, plain, it can stay. Um, this was the other one. I think it's like a $20 mug. $1.99. I could not find Inez pottery. I mean, it's 20 bucks. I'll take it. I'll take it for 20 I mean, I'll take it for 2 then I'll sell it for 20 Um, I don't know why. My nose is running again. I'm battling a cold. I'm sorry for sniffling as much as I am during this video. Um, this, I'm like, on the fence bed. I mean, that's like 18 to 20 eh, Maybe 12 to 18 I don't know, I'm just thinking like it would be nice to have a Valentine's themed like pink, red sale. So that's why I'm picking that up. Uh, puppy dog. I'm like peel and see what has zero. I can kind of see it. Hang on. What do you say? Hmm. Oh, he's got a he's got a boo-boo though. Why didn't anyone tell me he's got a boo-boo? <laughs> I mean, I noticed the little chippy there, but he does have a crack. Okay, I gotta put the puppy dog back. And then underneath is the dinnerware and whatnot, so um, I think I'm good with this. Did we hit a home run? Probably not, but we did find some cool stuff, and I'm gonna be able to make a profit on it, so we're good. I'll get back to you in the car. I forgot about that. That right there, that could be our home run. I mean, of all the things here, that's the most valuable. That's the good one. <laughs> the rest is, eh, eh. That's the best thing that I found. My total spend was $36. Was today our hit or miss? I would say it was somewhere in between. Somewhere in between, we found some stuff. Was it anything super exciting? I mean, the mirror was exciting. That was probably the most exciting thing we found. Everything else, you know, we can make a few bucks on, and that's great. Some days are like home run, some days are like we found some stuff. That was today. That's the nature of reselling. I get asked a lot. Why do you keep shopping when you have a shop full of stuff? It's because you just need, It's the, you gotta feed the beast. When you're a full-time reseller, you gotta go out. You have to source. You have to sell. You have to have the inventory. I think a lot of other full-time resellers get it. You get it, right? I feel like you would. Anyway, I'm gonna get out of here now. I'm gonna head on down the road. I'm uh, probably gonna hit up Black Rose of Hanover. I've got a little bit of time before I need to head home. We're having dinner tonight with my dad because my mom is in Syracuse with my grandmother again. Um, so we're gonna get dinner together. And the kids have basketball tonight. So, busy night ahead of us, but I've got a little bit of time to kill. So, I am going to go and shop the antique mall. But you guys are going to have to wait for that video. And I will see all of you tomorrow. So long. I know it's nothing new, but it's so good to see you.